What's recycling? You don't know what recycling is? No. Well, it's basically the reuse of materials such as paper, glass, and plastic in order to avoid putting trash into landfills. Huh, that's a real great idea. Why don't I think of that? Ah, oh, geez. We gotta start being more like San Francisco. They have an amazing recycling program and it's very well known. What's so special about San Francisco? Well, I'm gonna show you. San Francisco is a large metropolitan city that sits at the tip of a peninsula surrounded by the Pacific Ocean and San Francisco Bay. Despite its large population, San Francisco is the leading nation in recycling and is prestigiously working towards a goal of zero waste. So what is zero waste? Zero Waste describes an initiative to ensure a sustainable cycle where 100% of discarded materials are designed to become resources for others to use. In other words, reducing the net municipal waste to zero. Did you know that the urban waste produced from cities around the world is enough to fill a line of garbage trucks stretching more than 3,100 miles? That's a distance from Florida to Washington every day and things are only expected to get worse. Thankfully, some cities such as San Francisco are paving the way and trying to change the way we think about trash. San Francisco plans to become zero waste by 2020, which is a pretty ambitious but awesome goal. And this is the main nerve center for all of the city's recyclables. This is where everything ends up to be sorted and processed. What is zero waste? It's an idea and it means sending next to nothing to landfills or incinerators. In 2009, the city passed a law requiring residents and businesses to sort their waste into recyclables, compostables, and landfill trash. Recology is the private company that handles it all. When I started at Recology 23 years ago, the recycling rate was around 38%. Today, we've more than doubled that. So far, San Francisco has diverted 80% of its waste away from landfills, and its success has been getting global attention. Government representatives from all over the world visit this facility to learn about how they might be able to replicate what's being done here. What is the current method of waste management or recycling in your town? What we have a lot of in Denmark is actually incineration, uh, where you uh, burn the, the waste. Do you think that you might implement some of what you've learned here? One thing that we have heard a lot is uh, uh, the value of uh, composting. We don't do that a lot. Uh, so maybe we will go home and do more composting. San Francisco now collects 650 tons of food scraps, yard trimmings, and other organic waste every day. That material is brought here to be turned into compost. This is one of the most modern composting facilities in North America. Okay, so you can see a bunch of stuff here that people have thrown away. Mostly like wood here, a shoe, this flip-flop. Yeah, there's a... What's up with shoes? <laughs> well, there's seven billion people on the planet, so there's a lot of shoes. We're in a culture here in California where people are moving very quickly, and so people make mistakes. So we get the, the things that are not supposed to be here, we get them removed right away, right at the beginning. After the waste is ground up and screened for plastic and other bits of trash, the organic matter left over gets watered and aerated. The piping system then filters out dangerous greenhouse gases produced by microbes. In about 60 days, the compost is complete and sold to local organic farmers and vineyards. How does composting help the environment? Composting keeps materials out of landfills. It returns nutrients to farms. It reduces the production of very potent greenhouse gases. It attracts and retains water, like rainwater. I mean, it smells like hell, <laughs> but it's actually very beautiful what you're describing here. You know, people's food scraps, which might otherwise be waste, comes here to essentially feed these farms and produce new crops. Well, from this facility, more than 300 vineyards have received the compost and applied it to their vineyards. Farmers are using the compost to grow cover crops that pull carbon out of the atmosphere and return carbon back to the soil. This is one of the best things we can do in an effort to slow down climate change. People have really heard a lot about environmental problems. They want to hear now a lot more about environmental solutions. How much? Hmm. I wonder if 
we can do that, St. Pete or Eckerd. Well, let's hear from an expert. Hello, I'm Evan Buller, Sustainability Director. Hi, Evan. Um, I'm just here to ask you a few questions about the San Francisco Cycling Project. Let's do it. Uh, do you know much about the San Francisco Recycling Program? No, not really. Okay, well, they have recycling and composting programs that um, is getting international attention and they have a plan to become zero waste by the year 2020. Do you think that this is a possibility um, at Eckerd College to become zero waste? Yeah, I think eventually in the future we can definitely become uh, zero waste at Eckerd College. It's going to take a little while, but eventually we could. Cool. Um, where do you think the majority of our waste comes from? Well, I think the majority of our waste comes from uh, packaging that we see thrown out on, say, move-in day for all the incoming students. We have an uh, outrageous amount of styrofoam and cardboard that's not able to be collected uh, just during a move-in day, just uh, due to the sheer volume and the fact that uh, I don't quite have work-study recyclers that are helping me. My work-study students from summer are helping me with the Trash to Treasure project, uh, making sales on the first day, also uh, mitigating waste. But on um, uh, yeah, moving day, we see a lot of waste uh, from packaging, and we also have a lot of uh, waste from food from the cafeteria that's uh, left over. We do have the Food Recovery Network, which does uh, take the leftover food that has not been served and takes it to the local homeless shelter, Feed St. Pete. Uh, however, the food that has been already been served and uh, food that's left over on uh, plates, uh, that unfortunately gets thrown out. However, uh, to mitigate this, uh, next year we've got in the, in the cafeteria renovations, Bon Appetit has uh, made room for a liquid food composter to um, be able to take uh, dairy products, meat, cheese, everything. So hopefully that'll uh, uh, reduce some of the waste. Fantastic. Um, do you know what facilities we send our compost and recyclables to? Well, we recycle. Our, yeah, our recycling company is uh, WSI, we use them for our trash as well, and WSI takes our recycling from uh, the recycling center on campus. We've got two 20-yard dumpsters, one specifically for cardboard and paper, the other one for, uh, that's open top, uh, takes you know, metal, plastic, and um, glass. And they take it up to the sorting facility up on 22nd Ave North in St. Pete. And then after that, they take the waste uh, from that transportation uh, facility um, and they ship it up to uh, Georgia. Gotcha. And then as far as compost, we bring it to uh, the nine different compost piles on campus behind the garden. Cool. And the compost is used for the garden? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Um, does St. Pete have the infrastructure that would help us lead to our campus or our city um, to produce nearly zero waste? St. Pete, uh, not at the current time. It's going to take quite a little while. We don't have, besides the distribution facility that I uh, had mentioned up at 22nd Ave North, we don't have a, say, a single stream or recycling distributor here in Pinellas County. We do, however, up in Hillsborough, so in the eastern Tampa, waste management does have a single stream recycling plant where, you know, just in one big dumpster you can put in anywhere from paper, cardboard, uh, plastic, glass, uh, aluminum, and all into one big bin. It makes it much easier for the users uh, to be able to recycle. Um, I tried to get a contract with them back in 2013. However, uh, they came in at double the price of WSI. So, given that, uh, I'm still having uh, work, work study students and volunteers in the recycling program sort out the uh, paper products from everything else. Gotcha. So, you think it would be a long time before St. Pete has a sustainable recycling program that would lead us to zero waste? Yeah, given that uh, St. Pete's a little bit behind the times. Uh, in 2015, we just got our first uh, curbside recycling program. San Francisco has been doing it since the early 90s and at least 20 years. Uh, yeah, I gotta imagine, <laughs> hopefully we'll learn, but uh, it's gonna take a little while. Gotcha. Okay, thank you so much. Anytime. Freeze, what are you doing? Compost cop, law enforcement division. What is that in your hand? This is a tea bag. Sir, do you know what compostable materials are? No, I don't. Man, we really got to educate people on more about recycling and being environmentally friendly. You got any ideas? 
Well, maybe we could replace the paper trays at the pub with plastic ones that are reusable. Yeah, well, we should have some kind of some kind of get together so uh, so we can teach people about not committing these horrible acts against the environment. Don't you agree? And we could have more recycling bins on campus so that we can put everything in the right receptacle. Hey, receptacle, that's a pretty good vocabulary word. Say, let's hear what our uh, what our president and my boss Donald Eastman has to say about this uh, recycling stuff, huh? Sounds like a good idea. Ah, uh, the San Francisco Recycling Project does seem quite effective. Quite effective indeed. However, here at Eckerd College, we do not quite have the resources available to us to accomplish what they are accomplishing in California. However, we are getting more and more environmentally friendly every year, and I do think that one day Eckerd will be at that level and be able to achieve zero waste, or at least have more resources available to produce less waste and have more compost uh, resources available um, and such things like this. I do have a 10-year plan in um, effect currently, but I cannot reveal this information to you, it is top secret. Um, but in regards to recycling and other environmental issues, Eckerd College is working very hard, I guarantee you. Um, we are one of the leading colleges in environmentally friendly campuses, and we will continue our efforts to save the environment. Thank you. Remember, you're ready, Director. You okay? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait. Oh, did you start? Oh, no, you want me to start? Oh, yeah. You gotta okay. tell me one you Wow, that's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? I do think that we have the ability to accomplish our dreams. Thank you. <laughs> and I do believe that Eckerd College has the ability to try and model it. The goals similar. Uh, yeah, for sure. We should also have more recycling bins so that you can always recycle your recyclable materials. Oh, I said recycle too many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should. yeah, and we can have more recycling bins so that you can more easily put your recyclable materials in the proper... I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but what's composting? Well, composting is when you take... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I just, like, hit a wall. It's okay. Uh,